Why, hello, my beautiful nerd, herd, gang, whatever posse. Welcome to uh, the next video here of The Legend of Dragoon. In the last episode, we got here to Kazaz. I showed you how to get the first six Stardust. And uh, we met Popo, the representative of the new Sergio party, who has actually come over here and uh, provided us a way to actually get into the Black Castle, the seat of the Imperial Sandora, where Emperor Dole himself is waiting for us. And yes, we are ready. Yeah, we're ready. The only thing left is to make it to the Black Castle. I almost gave up when I heard Bale was taken. I thought all my campaigning was in vain, but I found out you are alive, your majesty, and we can still fight. I now see the future. Good luck. Yes, I will defeat Dole and I end the war to prevent a reputation of the sorrow of you and Selyse. I guess I'll be serious for the first time in a while. For the people who desire peace, I'll fight. <laughs> I'm going ahead. <laughs> oh my God, Rose is the best. Rose is like, you guys are so corny and cheesy. Listen, let's just go defeat Emperor Dole. I think also that Rose might know something about Dole that we don't. All right, so we have a weird thing that we have to do here. Uh, I love this, this like, layout. It looks so cool. It reminds me of Fallout Shelter, but obviously, you know, a little bit different. So we can hop down here, and there is an item that we can get while we slowly crawl through this tunnel. I love this, like creeping through these tunnels to get into and actually infiltrate the castle is so cool. So we're going to head up here. And uh, there's a couple little chutes that you can go down that lead to absolutely nowhere. Uh, so we don't want to, we don't want to, we want to, we want to avoid those. So we're going to go over here, skip that one and that one and use this big long one here. <laughs> Giggity. Uh, to go all the way down and then we have to do a really long... Uh, boring crawl. And then we'll go down here. And all the way over to this side. And finally, we can use these ladders to go all the way up. And we're actually, like, officially in the castle right now. Uh, I always thought that these things on the side that you see going up was actually how you were supposed to get up. I thought I was supposed to, like, figure out a way to ride those up when I was a kid. Listen... I wasn't the brightest. I'm still not the brightest. My mom says I am, though. And here we go. Black Castle in Kazaz. So we're actually going to see about uh, avoiding a lot of these guys. As long as we stick to the staircase, we'll actually avoid almost all of them, as you can see, because they will stop chasing you. They actually won't. It's weird. They won't actually go like, hello, what are you doing? They actually won't go on the stairs at all. So you can just avoid all of them. Listen, I don't understand it either, but it works for me. And then we can just go this way and boom, look at that. We're on this, we're on the stairs. We'll wait for this guy to get over there. And then, oh, look at that. We avoided all of them because we're amazing. Oh my God. Doesn't that just look so good for a PlayStation 1 game? Come on, man, that looks amazing. All right, so we're gonna head down here. Now there's actually some stuff. These guys are gonna wanna fight us. Let's brawl! These guys are pretty easy peasy. Nothing that you haven't fought before. These are some knights. About 120 health each. These Imperial Sandoras, Knights of Sandoras. We can take them down, no problem. Let me just change my, there we go. We are about to, yeah! We are about to get the next level on Albert's Rod Typhoon, and he can almost one-shot these Knights of Sandora, which is very, very, very beautiful. But yes, we are, oh, come on, man. So close to one-shotting. We'll have Rose hopefully come and finish them up. Maybe they have more than 120. Yep, definitely more than 120. My bad. That's okay. Dart will finish this up with a nice crush dance. 45 health. The crush dance is so weak. Anyways, Rod Typhoon, though? Not so weak. Actually, very, very strong. And that was it. That was his level up. So, so Rod Typhoon just got even stronger, boys and girls. Let's use more and more here. 
and so did more and more. I just realized that that also ranked up. Now we're getting 45 SP and doing a little bit more damage with Rose's second addition. And we got a healing potion, not bad. We're very far from leveling, but there is a neat trick here that I will show you if you are the grinding type. So we're actually gonna head backwards towards, towards the camera. And there's some hidden stuff here that for whatever reason, I used to miss all the time when I was a kid. No Stardust or anything like that, but there is a chest right here that contains a pellet, which is a attack item. We've used it before. And then another one up here, which actually just contains, I believe, a burnout. Uh, so no real reason, but again, I consider opening every chest in the game 100%. So we want to make sure we grab those. But that is all that is over here. And a neat little scene if we go across the bridge. <gasps> it's better to withdraw now. Even though we just took down two guards, it's fine. So we want to head back over here. You could use this ladder to go up, uh, but there's no real point. It's not going to lead you anywhere different or anything like that. We are officially in the Black Castle in Kazaz. That's pretty amazing. All right, so we have a few different things that we can do over here. Uh, you'll notice that there is, we're going to, so there are guys right here. Okay, so we're going to fight them real quick. I'm going to skip the battle, but I just want to point out that you can fight these. And then I will show you what happens next. So I just want to point out that we get 30 gold and 48 experience from that fight. Uh, between three people isn't horrible, but it would take a lot of those battles to level up. But it's not the worst thing right now. So we can't actually proceed forward because we need something right here. The inside is darkened by soot. They burn something in here. Same with this side. So we only have one place we can go, uh, which is right here. Now we have a very weird part coming up, my friends. So we come over to approach this purple light here with this music. What is this? You are... Are you here to see my research? Or... To visit me! Either way, we are pleased. We like it when mercenaries like you have an interest in our research. Indeed! Recently, barbaric suicidal attacks have become common, but if our research is successful, it will reduce the casualties of war. For example, that white flame... ...has a healing power. And that green flame isn't extinguished by water. When we put it to practical use, it will provide an advantage in war. Hmm. But I've never seen such technologies. It's like, like magic. You don't need to know about that. There are already enough of us involved in this accursed research. Yes, your job is to fight. There are too many things we don't know about this power. If you get involved too much, you might end up like Mr. Magi. Oh, it's too late for that guy. We have to complete this research before it's too late for Sandora. I see. I will end the war, but can we ask you a little more? For example, what kind of function does this purple flame serve? This white flame is the power source of the castle. This flame, not white flame, the purple flame. It drives the elevators and lifts. It helps people's lives. That's the proper way of usage. But the war decides the usage now. Yes, even if this technology could be used for the happiness of the people, once it is used wrongly, it may bring unhappiness. What we are making may bring unhappiness to the people in Brazil. I agree. This research is, after all, based on the calamity caused by the dragon. War creates catastrophe. It is a sad thing for both the people and the dragon. The dragon? The dragon is involved in this research? Oh, I slipped my tongue. Forgot what I said. Now, back to the research. Let me give you some magic oil. This is the fuel for the purple flame. It gives you mobility. And we get the magic oil. If you want to be healed, come visit me anytime. Thank you very much. It was very useful and weird. And you fellas sure are freaky. Anyways, here's the important thing, which I want to talk about. So, if we go back out here. 
So we, uh, there's nothing here, right? Okay, cool. So let's go back in. And then we can go on right over here and we can talk to this guy again who will ask us if we want to be healed and then slowly close our eyes. And we just got fully healed. So let's go back out here and watch this. These fellas are back. You can actually fight these infinitely by coming over here, fighting, going back, healing. They come back every single time. This is a pretty fine, pretty fine uh, uh, grinding spot. This is a pretty fine grinding spot if that is what you want to do, which I would recommend making sure that your additions... Oh, man, I messed up. ...are as high as they possibly can be before we end disc one. So definitely recommend it if you are like me and you want to be as best as you possibly can be before you jump into this next uh, incredibly difficult series of battles, or at least the hardest that we've done so far, I should say. All right, so we can also talk to this guy again if we so choose, but there's nothing that he's really going to say, just that uh, we have the magic oil and we can light the purple. You can also use this ladder to go down, but there's no real reason to, because if you do come down here, there's nothing that you can actually like, even though these books are here, you can't like choose any to read or, or there's nothing at all, in fact, that you can do down here. No stardust, nothing like that for the rest of this. Actually, for the rest of this disc, we have all of them. So we come over here and we can actually light it. You can now see the fire and we can use this elevator here. We now have full access to the Black Castle in Kazaz. Look at this though. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is a huge, huge reveal. Do you see this big thing that the purple is coming out of or into? That, my friends, is the Violet Dragon, or what remains of it. Meaning that this purple flame is the magic from the Violet Dragon. Hmm. How did Dole get a hold of that? So we can talk to these researchers. Researchers, researchers. Nobody can become happy without making somebody else unhappy. That is the universal truth. I don't know about that. We are just studying the principles of magic of Emperor Dole. So Emperor Dole has access to the Violet Dragon. I wonder why. I don't want to have people feel there's a crisis, so please do not tell anybody what you have seen or heard in here. You mean about a big dragon that you guys are, like, siphoning magic or something from? Yeah, that's not absolutely absurdly crazy. So we have to come over here because there's actually a few key items that we can get. But first, we're going to use this elevator. Or this elevator. That's a ladder, Corey. We're going to use this ladder to come down here where we can pick up a few different items. One is right here, which will contain a trans light, another attack item. And another one that we can grab right here, which is a dark mist, another attack item. Now, all of this is like trash, but it looks to me, it looks like fleshy and, and really, really gross. Um... Just thought I'd point that out. It's supposed to be trash, but it looks, it literally looks like discarded, like, meat. Anyways, we want to get across here without being seen and without getting hit. Oh no, I got hit! If you get hit, he'll dump you and you'll go, and you'll go back down. Hmm, garbage is full. And we got dumped. Let's try that again. All right. Third time is the char charm. Made it! Oh, jeez, Louise. All right, we can get a key item here, which is the red stone. Now we need the yellow stone. Oh, it's dangerous, and you cannot come in, although I give you credit for making it through. I only have garbage, but make yourself at home. Hey, thank you. All right, so he's going to come. He's going to dump it, and we're just going to run back across as soon as he comes back, hopefully without being dumped. There we go, and now we can use this ladder and leave the area once again. We are cruising, team. Cruising! All right, so we're back here at the light. There's no reason you didn't take damage from the garbage if you did get hit by it, so don't worry about that. And, of course, you could get healed if you wanted to reset these guys that are by this ladder here. You can start this and go down here, but we, like I said, we're still missing something, so let's go up here. And we have a mandatory fight that we have to do if we want to go over here. So, right here, there he is. That was quick.
but we have a hound and a soldier this time. The hound has very little health. In fact, uh, the hellhound, I believe that Albert here can, yes. pro oops, can probably defeat him in one hit. So let's just go ahead and switch these. Knight of Sandora. They have almost no defense. So you're going to see Albert do an incredible amount of damage to this hellhound when he does attack. All right, ready? Watch him take it out, dude. 157 damage out of Albert. That's crazy town. All right. I don't know why the angle that the battle is in uh, confuses me with, like, the animation. So I have to have it a specific way if I want to land my additions. It's probably because I'm just bad. There we go. Easy fight is easy. Awesome. Bean said hi. All right. Now we can continue down here where we need to go. We're actually making pretty good time through here. Who is this guy, I wonder? Hello, friends. What is that item in the back you got there? Can I have it? You. Who are you? I know you are thieves who've come to steal my magic. Wait, we're no excuse. Watch out. We don't know what he'll do. Let him. It seems interesting. Take this. The steel shearing vacuum blade. Um. What? Why? Why doesn't the magic work? Why doesn't it shear them? Oh, it's worse than I thought. That was... Still under research. I'll show you this. Take the rock crushing thunder arrow. Uh, I see. You are the researcher who is too late, aren't you? Then Mr. Magi is. Huh, those dumb researchers of trashy stuff said something to you, didn't they? Leave us alone. We are not here to criticize your research. Shut up! I have already made the discovery! The secret of a magic that those losers could never even hope to know. The magic of transformation can only be known by someone like myself, who completely understands the magical power of dragons. I'll show it to you now. Cerberus, emerge! It seems real this time! Um... I wonder, is this dog Mr. Magi? I guess it requires more research to be controlled by humans. But, at least in the end, he amused us. <laughs> the guy is, like, forever a dog now, and uh, the only thing that Rose has to say, well, he fit his purpose, he amused me. Okay, pretty cool. Right there, we got the, r the, the, the next stone we needed. <laughs> so we wanted, that was the blue stone, so we want to head up here. You'll actually notice that those little flasks that were on the wall, the, the red, blue, and yellow, that's actually a, a kind of a, a hint to tell you where we need to go. Uh, which we should probably like this. All right, so now we have the main elevator that we can choose here. Select that, and we can go up into the elevator. And now we have this, like, huge area. You can light this again, and you can actually go to the third floor with it. Uh, which is pretty useful because we can actually just go ahead and fight this guy, which is mandatory if we want to get something that's up here. And with that guy out of the way, we can head up here. And we have a battle against an elite. Ooh, this will be fun. Look at him. He's very cool. Now, this guy has a ton more health than anybody else we can fight in. And, of course, does a ton of damage. But the Sandora Elite fights just like the ones that we fought that were similar. Like the boss that we fought in Hoax. And, obviously, with uh, with Albert doing 125 every edition, that's pretty good. And our dear old Rose there getting 100. And almost looking like they put a status infliction on him. And then there's Weaky, Weaky, Weaky Little Darty doing 91 damage. All out attack on Rose. Uh oh. That's actually going to do some pretty good damage. 
I had straight up murdered her. Uh, so we are going to use an angel's prayer here. Mm, no, we're not. We're actually just going to attack with Albert, and he's going to go ahead and finish this fight. Oh, no! Missed the addition. Now, if you don't use an angel's prayer, you don't have to, because when the character respawns, uh, the char or when the battle ends, the character will always come back with one HP. Which, if we go ahead and look here... 1 HP. So we get to we don't get to we don't have to use one. Now, if that fight obviously had more to it, I probably wouldn't have used it. But we'll go ahead and throw a healing potion on Rose just so that she has that. And then we want to head this way. You'll actually see that there's like some pretty cool stuff over here, but we want to head this way because it's a uh, it leads to an area that you would actually normally never really see. So we're going to use this right here, which will allow us to use this lift, which will bring us to a completely other area. In fact, I don't even know if it's really in the castle because you can kind of see the castle from far away, right? Uh, but we can go ahead and talk to this guy. Workers are saying all sorts of things, but I believe in Emperor Duel. Interesting. All right. Then we can talk to this guy. I actually don't know what we are making, but this must be something to do with war. So they're making something. I don't want to help them fight, but if I resist against Duel... Hmm. What about over here? Of course, Duel will use the magic for the war. He would do anything to achieve victory. That's Dole. What about that guy over there? Can we talk to him? What about this guy? White flames, green flames, and purple flames. All, all, all are all just made for... I can read. They are not something that makes us happy. Magic is silly. Hmm. I'm stuck. Okay, so we want to come over here. There's two items that we can get. There is a spear frost here. And then we have another item here, which is a spirit ring. Okay, so we came for those two items. Now we just want to use the lift again. So you don't really have to come over here, but like I've said a hundred billion times, uh, opening the chest is what I consider 100% for this game. So I just want to show you where all of them are. And then we'll go ahead like this and we'll go down here where we can get yet yeah, another item in here, which will contain a spinning gale, which is of course another uh, on use magic item, attack item. And then we'll use this and backtrack to where we were. So essentially, we fought that elite just to get uh, those items, those unique items that you couldn't get before. That's all. And now we have another way over here that we didn't go before. This actually leads us to these guys uh, training. This is a series of fights that we actually have to do. This is required. You had such good luck sneaking into the practice center, didn't you? Catch him! Ash, catch him! So, we'll just have three fights that we need to get through. And then we are done with that. Uh, so, each one will be a solo until we, uh, until we get to the end. So, I'll just go ahead and skip all these since you've seen them many, many times. The... These guys are unbelievable. Don't think. We are knights of Santora, so just defeat them. Okay, let's go. Again, skipping it, because it's just a single soldier. Uh, am I the last one? I won't give up. All right, the final dude. We did get a nice healing potion for that last guy. I almost feel bad for them. They were still training. Poor guys. Well, we took care of that. All right, so we can use this to go up, but then we're going to have to backtrack a little bit. So if we use this elevator, we will end up in... Hello? What are... What are... What are you doing here? The great commander of Sandora. You are here. The girl from Salise. Whoa. You said the girl from Salise. You... You took me away to Helena. Indeed. I am the one who assaulted Sleaze under the orders of Emperor Dole. So, you killed everybody! That was done by the brutal unit loyal to Frugal. I wouldn't let them kill unnecessarily if I were there. Anyway, it doesn't change the fact that Imperial Sandora scorched Sleaze. If you want revenge for your home, you can draw your sword against me. But please, do me one last favor. His Majesty Dole changed after a man called Lloyd showed up. He must have instilled something in Emperor Dool, a demonic word that ignites his desire to vanquish. You were able to make it here, so you might be able to do it. I beg you, wake Emperor Dool up. What? Do you understand what will result? Yes, 
If you can accomplish that, the Imperial Sandora's dominance will end, and we even might be defeated by Bazil. But the result will be the same if the current oppression of Emperor Dole continues. So we might as well make it happen faster and remove the hardships on our people. There was a man like this in Sandora. Lavitz would be happy to hear this. So, are you in? That's what we're here for. I'm relieved to hear that. Now take this with you. And we get the Yellowstone, the last one we needed. It's the key to the Chamber of Emperor Dole. Hmm. Hurry up. We have no time. Interesting. So we get, you can see that there's a door. We have the arrow. We can see it. But we can't actually get over there from here. No, 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 my friends. Instead, also, look, this guy is like, a, he's into music. He can't be all that bad. Anyways, what a twist. The guy that we thought was like, you know, a bad guy. So we can go ahead and use this. And we have an option here. We can actually go up to the fourth floor or go to the second. We're actually going to go to the second here. Uh, because there is a some stuff over here that we can get that I kind of skipped. It's actually a big circle. Uh, but if we come in here, you'll see that there's, you know, really nothing you can do. But in here, there is uh, nothing in this room either. There's nothing you can grab. No items. Nothing. But there's a merchant there. Let's skip him for a second. We can grab a Beast Fang for Hashel right here in case you didn't farm it out earlier in the Dragon's Nest. And then, of course, we can talk to the woman of the item shop and we can see what we can buy. Now, I do recommend, since we have a fight coming up, I recommend uh, picking up some Spear Frost, potentially. Uh, because I think those might be a little useful for you coming up. Uh, and uh, maybe sell some stuff if you don't need it. I actually am going to take this time to buy some healing potions and, uh, and one Spear Frost just to make sure that I have those. And yes, I know, I have 32 out of 32 items. All right, so we want to go back to where we were now. And use this. Go up. Use this. Oh, hello. There we go. And continue to the fourth floor. And you'll see that we are on the other side now. Where 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 this is. Very interesting. What is... Th Look at this room. There's a save point up there. Who's this guy? Father Faza. Oh, it's unusual to have guests at this time, but it is fine. Let me talk to you. The long war decays people's hearts. It must have happened to you, too. The blood-stained armor tells all. However, His Majesty Dole is also experiencing the fatigue of war. Huh? The statue of a goddess was created in memory of the late wife of Emperor Dole, Empress Karina. It shows the frailty and fondness of Emperor Dole. He, however, continues the war for his own ambitions with increasing scenes of carnage. It shows his strength and cruelness, strength and frailty, fondness and cruelness. You must have them inside you, because the human heart can envelop them all. Face up to your true self, then you will become as strong as Emperor Dole. Ha. Huh. Very interesting. This is all I want to say. If you are lost, come visit me anytime. I'll help you find the way. Let's talk to him again. If you are lost, come visit me. I'll help you find the way. Um, I'm lost. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so there is a door right here. It's locked. I wonder if there's some trick. There is not. All right, so we want to continue up here. There is a save point. There is a save point here, but we're going to go to this first. Three holes. What are they? They might be something to do with the statue of the goddess. Why do you think so? Because look. It seems this place is for admiring the statue. There must be something. Hmm. What if we... What if we tried putting the red stone in here? What about putting the yellow stone over here? And finally, what about the blue stone right here? All of them fit? Huh. What? Oh, the door opened. I got it. All right, my friends. We could head over here to this door and finish disc one of the Legend of Dragoon. But we have two pretty strong boss fights coming up. So instead, what I'm going to do, <laughs> you're going to hate me. 
I am going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Dragoon. Let me give you a quick little update to see where we are before we head into the next the next episode. Additions of Crush Dance is at 31 out of 40. We got uh, more and more, 35 out of 40. And of course, we have Rod Typhoon at 47 out of 60. So we are getting there. Now, I would recommend before proceeding any forward, any any further, that you equip whatever your strongest addition is, and whichever one you can execute the cleanest. I wouldn't worry about SP right now. You want to do the most damage you can, so consider that going forward. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we will take on Emperor Duel himself and finish Disc 1 of The Legend of Dragoon. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. I'm, I'll try to make videos all the time. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for allowing me to do this full time. I create videos and stream over on twitch.tv slash online. Literally full time. It's my job. I am blessed. Hashtag blessed because of you guys. Thank you. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to Emperor Dole.